Welcome to the meditation. My name is Sandra and I invite you during this session to fully relax and listen to my voice as I guide you through every step of this sacred ceremony inside the crystal temple of the ancient omnipresent mother goddess Isis. The purpose and intention of this guided session is to restore the divine feminine and divine masculine on all levels of creation. With the help of many light beings and powerful goddesses, you will remove any and all implants, overlays, and entity attachments that prevent divine union, not only between man and woman, but on all levels of consciousness. In part two of this sacred ceremony, you will also be given the opportunity to safely awaken your kundalini energy for healing and transformation and receive a powerful blessing from the goddess inside her crystal temple. By the end of part one of this sacred ceremony, you will feel the divine union within yourself. Feel harmony in all your relationships and bring healing, balance, and restoration into the collective co-creative field of divine love between the feminine and masculine. During this ceremony, I invite you to tune in to the energy of the ancient goddess Isis and all the other goddesses that want to step forward to assist and guide you during this deep clearing and awakening process. Just close your eyes, take a deep, slow breath in and imagine the power of the sacred temple energy. Tune into the energy of the goddess Isis and allow her to come into your awareness. Use all your senses to make contact and invite her in. Invite her in in whatever form she may appear to you. Throughout history, many sacred temples were dedicated to her. The Egyptian goddess of rebirth, fertility and magic. Isis embodies the strengths of the feminine, the capacity to deeply feel into relationships. She is a master in the art of creation, nourishment and protection. She masters the deep mysteries of feminine power. She is truly a mother goddess and female creator with limitless abilities. So take a deep, slow breath in and on the exhale, relax. Another deep, slow breath in, exhaling and relaxing, tuning in to the divine goddess, tuning in to her energy. However the divine goddess may show herself to you, know that she will reveal herself using the path of least resistance showing herself in a form that feels loving and safe to you. So tune in to that goddess energy and feel deeply into which goddess is stepping forward to assist you. Is it Isis, Kuan Yin, Mother Mary, Freya, Sophia, Lady Nada, Chariklo, Juno, Waitara, Lakshmi, Mary Magdalene, Diana, Ikshel, Artemis, Aphrodite, Ostara, Pele, Lady Faith, Yemaya, the Oracle Cassandra, the Black Madonna, Persephona, Sekhmet, Nemetona, Sulis, Ishtar, Sedna, Bast, Haumea, Kali, Durga, Shakti. Perhaps the goddess is showing herself as Mother Earth, Gaia, Pachamama, Santa Tierra. 
you may even experience them all stepping forward to be of service to you. Tune in deeply into this goddess energy in whatever form, image or symbol it may come to you. Take a deep, slow breath in and ask for her assistance, her guidance, her courage, her love and support. In a deep breath in and on the exhale relax and feel her presence coming into your field right now with every breath you take you feel her presence coming closer and closer and closer when you consciously connect to the goddess energy you reconnect with your innate healing powers. When you consciously connect to the goddess energy, she will help you to awaken your healing abilities and healing intuition. When you consciously connect to the goddess energy, she will empower you with the healing power of love, gratitude and radical forgiveness. When you consciously connect to the goddess energy, she will love you, support you, and cheer you on as you raise your frequency and connect to the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Take a deep, slow breath in and on the exhale, relax. With every breath you take, you remember more and more about your soul essence. Take a deep, slow breath in and on the exhale, relax, looking deeper and deeper into your subconsciousness, remembering your infinite nature, your soul's journey throughout the history of the universe. Take a deep, slow breath in and on the exhale, relax, remembering all your lives as a woman all your lifetimes being a man. Taking another deep, slow breath in and on the exhale, relax. Feeling deeply into the interconnectedness between all of creation and all the parts you have played in all directions of time and space, past, present and future. Take a deep, slow breath in and on the exhale, relax, fully understanding that you are an infinite being having a human experience at the perfect time and the perfect place in the big picture of creation. Take a deep, slow breath in and on the exhale, relax. Trusting this now moment, trusting this divine appointment, and fully remembering and accepting your mission. Take another deep, slow breath in, and on the exhale, relax. Focus all your intention to remove any and all implants, imprints, and overlays so that you can fully restore the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine to bring harmony and balance from the inside out in the body, mind and spirit. Ask the Goddess to respond to your deep desire to accomplish your chosen mission. Take a deep, slow breath in and on the exhale, relax. Tune in to her energy. Feel her power of rebirth. Feel her love for humanity. Tune in deeper and deeper and deeper into her being. Take a deep, slow breath in and on the exhale, relax. Call in Mother Goddess Isis. Allow her to wrap her wings around you. Feel 
know and see that she is holding you right now, supporting you completely. Tune into her energy and feel her transmission of love, total acceptance, compassion. Feel that energy as you relax deeper and deeper into her loving and powerful embrace. Take a slow, deep breath in and on the exhale, feel how she is welcoming you into the center of her heart, inviting you into her energy field of transformation without judgment, just welcoming you in just the way you are right now raw, authentic, fully present, grounded, and in total reverence for all of creation. The goddess is inviting you to visit the temple of Isis. This ancient temple is a sanctuary for healing and transformation that is accessible to all who are committed to doing their personal work. Take a deep, slow breath in and imagine the entrance of this magical temple to be shaped like a yoni fully honoring the divine feminine creation another deep slow breath in and on the exhale relax ask mother goddess isis to lift you up and transport you into her beautiful crystal temple. Imagine that you are wearing a simple white robe as you step inside the crystal temple of Isis. Tune into the walls, the ceiling, the floor. Tune into your own energy. How are you feeling? If you feel any tension arising, take a deep, slow breath in and on the exhale, just breathe it out. Let it go. Now is the time to call in your energetic support team, all the goddesses, the ascended masters, your angels, the archangels, Call in your higher self and your inner child. Call in your future self. Call in your multidimensional selves in all directions of time and space. Call in all the beings of love, light and wisdom that wish to support you in the healing work you are about to do. Call in the ancestors. Call in the power animals and feel the presence of your interdimensional family that comes in the name of love and light with the highest intention to amplify and fortify your positive intentions. Call in the energy of the one infinite creator. Feel, know and see with all your senses that you are one with creation, one with all that is one with the infinite source of love, light, and wisdom. Imagine that whenever you tune into this energy of oneness, you are also raising the frequency of the collective co-creative consciousness. Take another deep, slow breath in, and on the exhale, relax. The goddess is inviting you to go down the stairs that lead to a magical healing space. As you walk down the stairs, you feel the goddess and your energetic support team are right there with you. Feel yourself going deeper and deeper down the stairs. Deeper and deeper into a state of total surrender. Allow your energetic support team to guide you and notice how easy it is for you to let go of the need to control anything 
as you go deeper and deeper and deeper. Every step you take further down the staircase is designed to open you up to step deeper and deeper into the energy of full trust and deep surrender. Deeper and deeper and deeper down the staircase you go, fully trusting that the Goddess, your energetic support team and your interdimensional family are here to guide and assist you in the powerful work you are about to do. Take another deep, slow breath in and on the exhale, relax. Notice how the bottom of the stairs open up into a giant crystal hall and the entrance is shaped like the sacred yoni. Look around inside this giant crystal hall. Use all your senses. Notice a giant lingam shaped crystal inside the temple hall and tune into the symbolism of this lingam shaped crystal inside the sacred yoni entrance. Honoring the divine masculine inside the divine feminine and tune into the energy of divine union. Imagine examples of divine union throughout history. Tune into the energy of Isis and Osiris, Mary Magdalene and Jeshua, Chariklo and Chiron. Symbolizing the divine union of the feminine and masculine inside this magical crystal temple hall. You can imagine this magical crystal temple hall to be like the infinite womb of creation, radiating this divine union. Take another deep, slow breath in and take your time to look around you, to tune into the energy of that divine union between man and woman throughout history. Another deep breath in. Exhale. Ah. Relax. One more time. Deep breath in. Exhale and relaxing. Ah. The Goddess has a message for you. She wants you to know that she invited like-hearted sisters and brothers to gather with you in sacred ceremony. And when you focus your attention on the center, you notice that the giant crystal hall is filled with men and women who are ready, just like you, to raise the collective consciousness to fully accept and accomplish their soul's chosen mission. Become aware that the men and women are on opposite sides of the temple hall. Look around. Use all your senses to tune into each and every one of them. There are many faces. Some of them you recognize immediately. Some faces look familiar. And some of the brothers and sisters are completely new to you. You feel their excitement. You feel their dedication, their commitment. Because just like you, they have their own energetic support team. And just like you, they are ready to remove all the implants, overlays, imprints, and entity attachment that blocks divine union. Just like you, 
they are ready to receive this powerful healing and blessing from the goddess in this beautiful crystal temple of Isis. Tune deeply into the ancient goddess energy. Call in Isis and ask her to wrap her wings around each and every one of you. Wrapping her wings around your collective energy, your collective intention. Holding all your wishes, your desires, your intentions pure and safe in her loving yet powerful embrace. Take a deep breath in and feel those wings around you. The goddess is now inviting all the women to move to the left side of the crystal hall. And she is inviting all the men to move to the right side of the crystal hall. The crystal pool in the middle is dividing both the men and the women who are facing each other from opposite sides of the crystal hall. The goddess is now inviting both the men and the women to step into the crystal pool in a very sacred, ceremonial way. And as soon as your feet touch the water, you notice that this water holds the energy of balance and harmony, of deep compassion and radical forgiveness. As you step into the pool, you feel your heart opening up, feel the power of unconditional love as you enter the water. Take a deep, slow breath in and allow your body to relax and become one with this healing water. The water has the power to erase and remove any implants, overlays, imprints, limiting belief systems and negative entities that block divine union. This healing water will transform any pain, fear, any unforgiveness, shame or guilt. Imagine all those lower energies to be cleansed, cleared and washed away from all layers of your being. See how the pool itself is surrounded by beautiful roses and crystals. Feel the frequency of the water. Know its healing powers. Take a deep, slow breath in and on the exhale, relax, taking in all that beauty. Know that your energetic support team is standing behind and beside you. Feel their assistance, their love, their power. Take a deep, slow breath in and on the exhale, relax. The purpose of this sacred bathing ritual is to detoxify and cleanse your chakras and your aura. Also to remove any negative implants in the body and mind and to erase limiting imprints and overlays in your energetic field. So just relax into the healing water and set your intention to restore and bring balance and harmony to the Divine Feminine, the Divine Masculine, within yourself, 
within the others and within the collective field of co-creation. And by doing so, you are bringing balance and harmony to every living being on the planet. Imagine you are in this beautiful pool of healing water. The women are on the left side and the men are on the right side. And the goddess Isis is now inviting you to turn your intention and attention to the other side of the pool and make conscious eye contact as you face each other. Women are tuning into the men, and the men are tuning into the women. Take a deep, slow breath in and relax. If you feel any judgment arising within you, use the breath. And on the exhale, allowing that liquid healing water to wash away anything that is not in alignment with unconditional love, deep compassion, and radical forgiveness. Taking a deep, slow breath in. On the exhale, allowing that water to cleanse and to clear any feelings of judgment. Now start breathing in in unity. Feel how the whole group is breathing in sync with each other. a deep breath in and on the exhale allowing any sense of wrongdoing to exit the body to exit your energy field taking another deep breath in breathing in harmony and on the exhale letting go of any sense of hostility or estrangement. Taking another deep breath in and using that liquid healing to cleanse and to clear your body, your mind. Call in your energetic support team to help remove any implants in the body, in the mind. Ask them to cleanse and clear and erase any wounds, memories, imprints or overlays in your energetic field that create the illusion of separation and use the power of breath and use the power of that liquid healing that pool of sacred water where you are standing and bathing in, in unity. Use the power of that water to cleanse and to clear and erase any wounding, any imprints, any overlays. Now you are ready. Both men and women are ready to give and receive a deep healing message to each other. Set your intention to allow the ancient love affair between feminine and masculine energy to seed, sprout and blossom, merging both energies within and without, calling in divine union 
activating it above, below, within, without, and the planetary consciousness into the cosmos. Beloved women, open your heart to receive. The goddess is inviting the men to offer their sacred apology to the female collective. The goddess is asking the men to collectively open their hearts as they send this telepathic message to every woman and every girl on the planet. Open your heart as wide as you can and listen deeply to the message of your brother. I apologize for my endless absence, a reflection of my own inner absence, my inability to connect from a heart jammed tight by unresolved emotions that I did not have the tools to work through. I still lack many of these tools, but I am open to their immersions. I apologize for my inability to distinguish relationship from war. Like a warrior in enemy territory, I would sneak in and out of your life in the night, plundering and selflessly taking what I needed, then crawling back to the other side of the abyss with the spoils. I give little back for fear that I would become vulnerable to attack. I had war on the brain and I could not see the river of love waiting on the other side of the battlefield. I now recognize that love is the antidote for the armored warrior, but I could not drink that medicine in my driven state. I apologize for not seeing you, my eyes blinded by concealed rage and unshed tears. If it is any consolation, and I imagine it is not, I could not see myself either. I saw only that which served my hypervigilance, my warrior focus. My mirror was a battlefield. I apologize for my ungrounded materialism, my power-driven tyrannies, my obsession with accumulation. Somehow I imagined that accumulation would protect me and those close to me, but I fail to recognize that it is just endlessly following this madness. I also apologize for my egoic abuses, a reflection of my own misguided ego, pumped up to deal with the competitive world. I could not distinguish the healthy, confident ego from the cocky, unhealthy ego. I went much too far in the wrong direction. I apologize for a sexuality that was objectifying and disconnecting me from the heart. I know you longed for real intimacy, emerging of our souls along the hard genital highway. But there were too many defenses around my heart, and no bridge could form between our souls. There were moments when your loving ways freed me from my body masks. But I had no template to stand in that heart fire. I'm sorry for this, for I know that the path you longed for was the path to God. I apologize for my horrifying acts of violence, a reflection of my own concealed rage, my own inability to distinguish real enemies from friends. There are no words that I can undo what I have done in those moments of madness. I know this, I do. I would hide my face in shame, but that won't make things better. I need to own my misdeeds and then find a way to believe in my capacity to move from a more loving place. I call out to all other male warriors to be accountable for the actions of our gender, not in a way that is self-hating, but in a way that is courageously self-honest and genuinely compassionate. The heartfelt warrior acknowledges the errors of his ways and has the courage to do all he can to make amends over time, 
I apologize for my inability to develop a conscious relationship. You were right there with your beautiful heart on your sleeve. But I was too attached to my individualism and afraid of this unknown terrain. I know the ways of the outer world so well, but the inner geography is sometimes foreign to me. You called me to a place I was ill-prepared to go, although I sensed below the surface of my bravado that you were calling me home. I am grateful for your willingness to believe that who I was in those rare moments of vulnerability, that that was the real me. You were right. The real me lives inside of my heart. But a few moments now and then was the most I could handle. I saw you as dangerous, for in your presence I began to taste the surrendered way of being. Nonetheless, your faith in my goodness kept me going through many a battle and restored my faith in life when I most needed it. You were the light at the end of a barbaric tunnel, and I am blessed. I am grateful that you stuck with me through thick and thin, and I also understand those times you had to give up and let go. I now recognize that there is a meaningful difference and purpose to relationships. Love alone is not enough. Without a shared willingness to become conscious, there can only be frustration. I was often, so often impossible, clinging to my unconsciousness like a soldier clings to his weapons. I recognize the courage it took for you to keep your heart open in the presence of my resistance. You had every right to seek an authentic relationship as your spirit was ignited in its presence. Your beautiful heart had every right to be met in its openness and willingness. And I am grateful for the time you gave me. I am grateful for Grandmother, for no one saw my tenderness more clearly. I am grateful for Mother, for choosing to bring me into being and for nourishing my body until I could find my feet. I am grateful for Mother Earth for grounding my expansion and enlivening my spirit. I am grateful to the Divine Mother, the Goddess, the real Mother of all of us. I now feel her Divine Presence so close, fiercely compassionate. She was always right here, breathing life into me, holding me safe. I sit in her lap as she breathes me back to life. I look forward to the day when the only thing that ignites relationship is two souls calling out to one another. Two souls' hearts beating in the same direction. A whisper of longing that bridges one essence to another. I want to want you, not because it gratifies my ego, not because you are so beautiful but because your very presence invites my God Self out of hiding. I want to touch you with my heart on my sleeve, to know chemistry between us that is not gender identified, but no chemistry that is essence sourced. Love's liquid lava flowing from my heart to the genitals, to the great beyond. In this love-struck world, relationship will always be experienced as spiritual practice, a devotional expression of our God-Self. I had always believed that sensitivity is impossible to hold in a harsh world. Yet, in this moment, I feel sensitive, but without being fragile. I am still wearing armor. But there is definitely a shift in the direction of my intensity. I can linger in the heart space a little longer than I once could. I am softening in places. 
After so many lifetimes with weapons in hand, a tenderling warrior is being birthed in the core of my being. He's confused, but he intuitively knows that this is the way home. Please don't give up on me or my fellow warriors. Forgive us our misdeeds. Or at the least be open to the possibility that we will change as the trail expands to meet our shifting intentionally. The day will come when our warrior spirit loses its harsh edge and comes into alignment with benevolent action. Some of us are already there and many more of us will follow. The road to transformation is dependent on the bridge between genders. A benevolent bridge that celebrates our differences with respect and kindness. That work must begin with healing. Working hard to heal the collective heart until one day we can stand on a bridge across forever. Hands held together, hearts open and alight, embracing the sacred masculine and divine feminine living at the heart of us all. I will meet you there. May you feel the love of the Divine Mother crashing down on your heartfelt shores, graciously lifting you up above the madness of the world, nestling you in the grateful arms of those you have nurtured. Those of us who have received your blessings may not always acknowledge it, but your acts of love have landed with us, growing us stronger and infusing us with love's light. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Take a few moments to feel deeply into these words. Feel the energy of unconditional love, deep compassion, and radical forgiveness bubbling up into your awareness. Feel it entering your physical body and your auric field. Open your heart and let the men know that you hear them, you see them, you feel them. Feel deep into your heart if you can accept this sacred apology, allowing it to penetrate every cell of your body in all directions of time and space, past, present and future. And now it's time for the men to receive. So, beloved men, open your heart to receive. The Goddess is inviting the women to offer their sacred apology to the male collective. She is asking the women to collectively open their hearts as they send this message to every man and every boy on the planet. I apologize for pushing you to open your heart when you weren't ready. I longed to be met in my openness and I couldn't bear the disconnect between us. You know I am nourished by direct communication and I took your silence personally. I didn't understand the relationship between your detachment and your warrior conditioning. I do see it now. From the beginning, you have been cast in the role of warrior protector and your emotional armor was fundamental to your task. Without it, you would not have been able to remain vigilant on the battlefield nor succeed in the competitive marketplace. As our world moves away from survivalism as a way of being, I am hopeful that you will feel safe enough to live from an open heart. Such beautiful light comes through that opening. I apologize for not always seeing your limitations and struggles. There were times when I could not see past my expectations and fantasy. I grew up with a fantasy that the knight in shining armor would save me 
and I clung to that vision, preferring that projection to the reality of humanness. As a result, I didn't always see how much stress you carried, how difficult things were, how hard it was for you to hold it all together. Of course, we were in this projection together. You hid your humanness from view while I chose not to look for it. I look forward to the day when our relationships are not based on illusions, but on a deep recognition of each other's authenticity. I apologize for giving you mixed messages about how I wanted you to manifest. At times, I wanted you to be soft and tender, at other times, dominant and protective. How confusing this must have been for you. How challenging to go back and forth between such differing feeling states. It has been so confusing for all of us. Trying to straddle the line between our needs for both safety and vulnerability. I apologize for being passive aggressive towards you. I was not taught to express anger directly and I was frightened of your aggressiveness. I know that you have had similar challenges with experiencing your sadness and releasing your tears. In the world we are moving towards, I am hopeful that both genders will have seamless access to all emotional states and healthy forms of expression. I'm sorry that I expected you to fill my emptiness when the only one who can fill that is me. I have often looked for answers in relationships, somehow imagining that another could complete me. After so many centuries of disempowerment, I didn't realize that I had the tools for my own self-creation. But I am recognizing it now. Where before we met as two fragmented beings, we will soon meet as two whole beings, each of us having healthy boundaries, two holes that make a perfect Vesica Pisces. I am grateful for all those moments when you held me safe and operated within the heart of compassion. The backlash of recent decades was a necessary response to generations of suffering, but many of your contributions got lost in the shuffle. In my efforts to find my voice and stand my ground, I have not always given credit where it is due. I encourage you to reclaim anything you have lost along the way and to proudly embody the sacred masculine as you once did. I apologize for those moments when I discouraged your power, when I cut off your balls. I could not see the difference between the historical misuses of masculine power. I am grateful for the many positive contributions you have made to my reality. I realize and acknowledge that you often communicated your love for me using actions, not words. I thank you for helping to construct the structures that my expansion relies upon. I thank you for laboring long and hard to establish rule of law. I honor the warrior spirit that build the railroads, the cities, and the bridges that bring us in contact with one another. I honor those warriors who fought and died on the battlefields in an effort to protect us. You have sacrificed so much in order to hold us safe. Praise to those benevolent warriors who came before. I am grateful for Grandfather for holding the space for my expansion with patience and wisdom. I am grateful for Father for defending and sheltering me. I am grateful for Father Sky for showing me a vision of possibility that transcended my circumstances. I am grateful for the Divine Father, the real Father of all of us, and I now feel His Divine Presence so close fiercely compassionate. He has always been right here, holding me safe. There has been so much blame between us, 
so much hatred and name calling. It is essential that we let go of our anger and heal our hearts. Nothing should be swept under the rug in that process. Everything should be exposed. But it is also important that we have compassion for each other and understand the context of our actions. We have all been victims of a sociological landscape impacted on our identifications and behaviors, like two different species in the same bed. We were compelled by circumstances to inhabit roles that kept us miles apart. Those roles have caused us great suffering, each gender suffering in its own way, to the extent that one gender was denied wholeness, the other was denied it as well. Women were denied the right to basic protections and pathways of expression. Men were denied access to a tender, receptive way of being. No one got off easy despite appearances. And as we move towards a more enheartened interface, may we create space for new visions of possibility. We must begin the process by healing the gap that exists between us. I envision a world that fully celebrates the healthy feminine and the healthy masculine. Instead of throwing all the gender differences out of the bathwater, we make a conscious distinction between benevolent and destructive identifications. We craft a sacred balance of our healthiest aspects. Each of us identifies the unique fusion of feminine and masculine energies that align with our essential nature. May we never forget the relational and co-transformative nature of human expansion. Although the ultimate romance is with your own soul, it is our experiences together that give birth to essential lessons. We are here together to participate in this dance of sacred imagination. Stepping on each other's toes and turning each other toward God, one clumsy step after another. We trip and then we get back up with greater awareness. With this in heart, I am hopeful that we can learn to accept one another in our humanness and in our divinity. I look forward to the day when we can meet one another in our true nakedness, stripped free of unresolved emotions, pain-induced projections, and the distortions of duality. For too long we have been on opposite sides of the river, the bridge between our hearts washed away by a flood of pain. But the time has come to construct a new bridge one that comes into being with each step we take. One that is fortified with benevolent intentions and authentic self-revealing. And as we walk toward one another, our emotional armor falls to the ground, transforming into the light at its source. And when we are ready, we walk right into the God Self at the center of the bridge, puzzled that we ever imagined ourselves separate. May you feel the presence of the Divine Mother close at heart, inviting you to rest deeply on the tender shores of your own essence, nestling you in the grateful arms of those you have protected. Those who have received your blessings may not always acknowledge it, but your acts of love have landed with us, growing us stronger and infusing us with love's light. Rest, dear warrior. Rest. I hold your heart safe. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Dear brothers and sisters, take a few moments to feel deeply into these words. Feel the energy of unconditional love, deep compassion and radical forgiveness bubbling up into your awareness. Feel it entering into your physical body and your auric field. Brothers and sisters, feel the effect of these powerful apologies in all of your chakras. 
the root chakra, sacral chakra, your solar plexus and your heart. Tune into your communication center. What is going on in all of the chakras? Tune into the body, tune into the chakra system. Perhaps this sacred apology has stirred something up, maybe something shifted. And the goddess will assist you now in resetting all your chakras to bring balance and harmony in the whole chakra system. See, know and feel that the goddess has seven colored spheres for you. One for each chakra, going from the root to the crown. Red, orange, yellow, green for the heart, blue, indigo blue, and purple for the crown chakra. The goddess is infusing each colored sphere with energy, fine-tuning each one of them to perfection, activating and infusing it with a unique blend of healing that you need in this now moment. Take a deep, slow breath in and feel how she is placing that balanced frequency in every colored sphere. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo blue and purple. See you know, and feel how all these spheres are placed with precision inside of your chakra system. Imagine how the goddess is now connecting all the colored spheres, syncing them with each other. Feel that unity. Feel that sense of alignment and co-creation when all seven chakras are working together in perfect harmony. Tune into your body and feel how all those spheres are placed in every chakra. All the colors are vibrating, pulsating. And now use the water, that healing water from the crystal pool. Breathe in that liquid healing and let that healing energy move upward. Let it pass through all seven spheres in your chakras. Deep breath in. Exhale, just imagine that you are gathering up all the colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, purple. Blending them together to create a beautiful rainbow of healing light with every breath you take. Take a deep, slow breath in, creating that beautiful rainbow of healing light. Another deep breath in. And on the exhale, see, know and feel how this rainbow of healing light is exiting through your crown chakra, filling your auric field with rainbow colored liquid healing. Take another deep breath in. On the exhale, the rainbow light is exiting through the crown chakra. See, know, and feel yourself surrounded and infused by this healing rainbow waterfall in your auric field. One more deep breath in. Exhale and relax. Ah. Become aware of this rainbow body around you. Become aware of this harmonious energy inside of you. And see, know, and feel that everybody, every man, every woman here in the crystal temple has also activated all the spheres in the chakras. See how they are emanating, radiating all this beautiful rainbow energy inside of this crystal temple. Creating a powerful human grid that will illuminate the world and raise the frequency of the collective co-creative consciousness and see this balanced energy coming out of each individual 
connecting them all together in that crystal temple and see that balanced energy spreading out all the way into the cosmos. Now imagine forming a rainbow circle with your brothers and sisters. Now place your left hand on your heart and place your right hand on the back of the brother or sister to the right of you. Set your intention to invoke the energy of Isis and imagine the divine sexual energy rising from the crystal temple into your body. Ask Mother Isis to wrap her wings around each and every one of you, wrapping her wings around your collective energy, holding your intentions, holding them safe. Ask her to remove all entities, to remove any and all implants, overlays and imprints that block divine union in you and all who are present right now. Ask her to cleanse, clear any race, any and all wounds of separation. Allow her to wrap her wings around you and feel her pure, loving, powerful embrace, amplifying all of your intentions your rainbow energy, giving wings to your desires to be free of all restrictions, control mechanisms and tools of enslavement, of any war energy in all directions of time and space, past, present and future. And invoke the goddess energy by saying out loud, Isis, Isis I am, 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 Isis, Isis I am. Now place both hands on your own heart and feel that goddess power within you. Now slowly move from the circle into two rows, men and women facing each other. And if you are a woman, tune into the men. If you are a man, tune into the women. Connecting from heart to heart with your brothers and sisters men and women looking in each other's eyes call in that divine union of masculine and feminine in sacred relationship like mary magdalene and jeshua isis and osiris chariklo and chiron the men are recognizing acknowledging honoring the divine feminine gazing into their sister's eyes, gazing into the mirror of their true essence, seeing the energy of Isis moving, breathing, living inside the heart of each woman, gazing deep into the eyes, healing ancient wounds of control and manipulation and betrayal between both sexes, offering the gift of deep compassion to each other for the effects of the negative implants, imprints, and overlays. Gazing deep into each other's eyes and healing the barrier between men and women. Offering the gift of radical forgiveness to each other. Gazing deep into each other's eyes, restoring the sacred trust between men and women. Offering the gift of unconditional love to each other. My beloved sisters, take a deep breath in and accept this beautiful energy exchange from the men. Now it's time for the women to gaze into the men's eyes. The women are recognizing, acknowledging, honoring the divine masculine, gazing into the mirror of their true essence. Seeing the energy of Osiris moving, breathing, living inside the heart of each man. 
gazing deep into the brother's eyes, healing ancient wounds of control and manipulation and betrayal between both sexes, offering the gift of deep compassion to each other for the effects of the negative implants, imprints and overlays. Gazing deep into the brother's eyes, healing the barrier between men and women, offering the gift of radical forgiveness to each other. Gazing deep into their eyes, restoring the sacred trust between men and women, offering the gift of unconditional love to each other. And ask the ancient goddess Isis to wrap her wings around you, to bring you closer together in divine union, connected from heart to heart, fully recognizing, acknowledging, honoring the divine within each other, feeling the loving embrace of Isis. Know in your heart that the ancient wounds of separation, violence and betrayal are finally healing. Now connect from heart to heart with the same gender. Men looking into their brother's eyes, women making deep eye contact with their sisters, recognizing, acknowledging, honoring the beauty, the courage, the power within each other, gazing deep into each other's eyes, healing ancient wounds of control and manipulation, war, slavery, violence, prostitution, human trafficking, betrayal, satanic rituals, voodoo, black magic, prosecution, the effects of drugs and alcohol, abandonment, porn, child abuse, rape, and sexual torture. Gazing deep into each other's eyes, invoking the energy of the goddess to hold you, to guide you, to assist and support you, offering the gift of deep compassion to each other for the effects of all negative implants, imprints, and overlays. Gazing deep into each other's eyes, healing the barrier between the brothers, healing the barrier between the sisters, offering the gift of radical forgiveness to each other, gazing deep into each other's eyes, restoring the sacred trust among the men, restoring the sacred trust among the women, gazing deep into each other's eyes and offering the gift of unconditional love to each other. Again, ask the ancient goddess Isis to wrap her wings around you, to bring you closer together in divine union, connected from heart to heart, fully recognizing, acknowledging, honoring the divine within each other. Feel the loving embrace of Isis and know that in your heart that all the ancient wounds are healing rapidly in her presence. Feel the divine union in this crystal temple, bringing balance to the feminine in yourself, bringing balance to the masculine in yourself, merging the two energies, harmonizing them inside of you, healing ancient wounds of being controlled, manipulated and betrayed, offering the gift of deep compassion to yourself for what happened to you against your will or perhaps with your consent. Offering the gift of deep compassion and forgiveness for the effects of negative implants, imprints, and overlays. Also healing the barrier between the feminine and masculine within. Offering the gift of radical forgiveness to yourself for any imbalance or disharmony. Restoring that sacred trust within yourself so that you can trust your intuitive abilities and guidance from your higher self. Offer this beautiful gift of unconditional love to yourself in all directions of time and space, past, present, and future. By healing yourself, you are bringing balance in the collective feminine, bringing balance in the collective masculine, 
By merging these two energies together, you are harmonizing them in the collective field. Also bring balance to the feminine inside of the temple. Bring balance to the masculine inside of the temple. Merging the two energies, harmonizing them inside of the crystal temple. And feel it deep inside of your heart. Now use the power of your intention and attention to send out that balanced energy to every crystal on the planet. Feel the divine love of the goddess and use this magical ceremony to radiate the energy out safe and supported by the goddess to return to the love affair of the divine source that is within each and everyone's heart waiting to be activated and radiated out into the world to every living being on the planet to every crystal to all the water bodies the lakes the rivers the oceans every little brook creek and well to the animal kingdom the plant kingdom all living beings on this planet in all directions of time and space past, present, and future. On this and any other planets, star systems, and in all dimensions of creation. We thank you, Goddess. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you.